in agriculture, if we need to stabilize the economy, two things need to happen. Inflation needs to be tackled. The governor of Central Bank has said what is being done. It's, he has announced his targets for inflation and the fact that inflation targeting will be a key element of the strategy, which is right because they are in charge of the targets of monetary policy. But in, in addition to that, when you look at inflation, a large element is food inflation. In fact, food inflation accounts for 33% of the uh, consumer price index. So when you attack food production, raise food production, you bring down uh, the price of food, you bring down inflation, you get a chance to bring down interest rates, and there lies the road to investment. This challenge does not come unanticipated. We reckon with global challenges that are impacting us domestically, and we reckon with the uh, transitional nature of some of the measures that we have, been, we have taken. And we know that they will have some impacts. But there are compensatory mechanisms. One of it is to support domestic production, particularly one that we are most familiar with, 36 states of Nigeria plus FCT, agricultural production is a major component, and uh, as well as other activities for which infrastructure for which funding has been generously provided. We are aware that the twin challenges of inflation and exchange rate depreciation on our economy are daunting. However, they are not insurmountable. Monetary policy actions are sometimes inhibited by transmission lags. Nonetheless, it is expected that the policy measures implemented by the bank will permeate the we economy more, in sir. the short to medium term. Just one more minute, sir. Inflation pressures may persist, albeit temporarily, but are expected to moderate significantly by the first, fourth quarter of 2024. Exchange rate pressures are also expected to reduce with a smooth functioning of foreign exchange market. We are committed to implementing policies that will ensure a stable macroeconomic environment and guarantee improved livelihoods for all Nigerians. We have the target for this year, based on the approved budget, to collect 19.2 uh, trillion, uh, which is uh, 7.2 trillion, more than what we actually collected this year. And uh, given this economic condition, and with the promise of Mr. President, that we are not going to introduce additional tax, uh, we are not going to increase any tax, considering the uh, situation and uh, welfare of our people. That what we need to do is to re-strategize within to make sure that uh, we bring more people into tax net. So without increasing the tax rate, that we'll be able to meet the target. We must adopt to address the multifaceted challenges that confront us. Through synergy, we can align our strategies, consolidate our efforts, and amplify the impact of our initiatives. In the face of global economic shift and domestic challenges, it is clear that robust reform measures are not just beneficial but imperative. We are at a pivotal moment where the decision we make and the policies we implement will impact the lives of millions of Nigerians. The reform we envisage should not only address the immediate needs but also lay a you know, foundation that is resilient with a dynamic framework that can adapt to future challenges and opportunities.